Welcome to the Bible Decoded. And today we're taking on a patron's question. She's asking, you know, what is murder and how do we commit that, you know, in relations to the laws? You know, how do the Ten Commandments work? So, because for a long time you will think of them as guideposts and they are when you're seeing life objectively they are guideposts you don't physically commit murder and you know that's a objective moral and law that we have in the objective world but when you come to read the bible subjectively and you look at it a little differently First off, the translation. The translation actually states that you don't do these things in your heart. Thou shalt not commit murder on thy heart, in thy heart. Thou shalt not steal in thy heart. Thou shalt not covet in thy heart. Thou shalt not commit adultery in thy heart. You know, and this is what, you know, happens to you. you you imagine it first okay and you don't keep it up because then it's you're doing it on your heart you're, you're gonna have it happen okay if you keep thinking about murdering somebody or wouldn't it be great if they were dead and gone or they're such a vile monster they gotta go you're committing murder in your heart and it objectifies itself in the murders that we experience and, and it's like a little Fibonacci sequence you know you plant that seed and you're given all kinds of opportunities to stop it yeah. Yeah. so you just you're committing murder in your heart in other words you're imagining it and you're putting it on your heart and it must present itself to you in some way and it gets and it gets closer and closer and it starts off far off you'll start seeing you know, a bunch of news and stuff about murder and suicides and you know this horrible thing here and the horrible thing there and then it starts getting closer it, it's happening in the places you shop okay and then then you run away and it, it keeps following you you know, it's getting closer and closer and closer. It really is. Just like Bill Cosby's chicken heart that ate New York City, I swear. It is. But it's getting closer and closer and closer. Out into the street. Ate up all the cabs. Beep beep. The Empire State Building. Ate up the Jersey Turnpike. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And you feel like that. Oh God, oh God. like that little Bill Cosby. Yeah. And it's that kind of thing. So all of them stay, well, the majority of them stay, you know, in your heart. So don't do this and place it on your heart because then it's going to be shown to you. And it's only going to grow and get worse. Okay, where ultimately, you know, you get things like genocides. You know, and, and it's just a whole bunch of murder on the heart being shown to you. And this is what it meant. This is what all that genocide of World War II was about. You know, these people didn't care. They thought some people were subhuman and they had to die. And when people say those things, they've already been thinking those things, you know. Get away from them. Forgive them without distinction, 
their lovely expression of God, but you know, murder will follow them, and eventually they'll you know go to jail for murder, they'll commit murder, or something like that. Alec Baldwin is a perfect example of this. Okay, this man has been judging and maligning police officers for having firearms and using them if necessary. You know, and he has criticized them like an armchair policeman. He seems to know better, even though he's never been a, a policeman or had to face the things those policemen are facing. But he supposedly knows better. He's been tweeting it out, letting everybody know, you know, and then he makes a tweet. Uh, Gail and Jane brought this up on their video uh, back in, I think it was 2017, wonder what it feels like, you know, to kill an innocent person. Well, he got to find out, didn't he? He put murder on his heart. So he got to experience that. If you don't want to experience those kind of things, learn from his experience. You know, those, that's what the Ten Commandments are about. Sin is missing the mark. That is what it means. You want to do something or be something, but you think you can't. Okay, and you think you have to take these other steps of stealing and murdering. And you don't do this. Don't go there. Okay, it, it'll be given to you. And it's about the laws. And the commandments are not the laws. Okay, the law is there's only one consciousness. Okay, and then there's 11 other things underneath it. It's really two major laws, and all the others are uh, subsets. Because of those two, this is the way it is. This is the way it is. This is the way it is. And that's the other 10. Okay, so it's consciousness and imagination. Okay. It's what you think. It gets put on your heart. So if you think somebody needs to die because they are just too heinous of a person to be alive anymore, then you've committed murder on your heart. Okay? That's what that is. And you don't want to do those things. And that's what the Ten Commandments is about. Don't do these. Don't think these things. Okay? I shall have no other God before me. No. <laughs> no. You're the one in charge. You're the one saying I am. You are the one. Okay. That is directing God through your expression, your extension, your beautiful personality, the beautiful you that you, you are. Okay. And you just be you. You just be you and accept your perfect. <laughs> okay. And just go out there. And go be perfect. You know, how do I do that? You, you don't worry about it. God's in your heart. He'll, he'll do it for you. You know, you'll know the words to say, and it will come trippingly off the tongue. And you'll know to keep your mouth shut. And this is the hardest part is flipping it and seeing it's not objective, it's subjective, it's imagination. It's a dream. It's a story. It's a accepting that's what it is. Okay? You're in a dream. And a lot of people, because they see objectively, it's a test. It's a battle. And it's this and it's that. No. It's a question. It's a question. It's one for all. All for one. Okay? It's a question. Do you really believe that? You wouldn't do that. Why would you believe Someone else would be that way. No. No. I don't care what the world has to say. They're wrong. Most people are magnificent and lovely and beautiful. And sure, there's got to be a few to prove that. Okay? So, yeah. But they're not the majority. Most people are magnificent and I don't care how they vote. I don't care how they handle things. They're beautiful and they're lovely 
expressions of God. And I forgive them without distinction because we all thought we could be dicks. We all thought about, yeah, that guy's so bad, he needs to go. We've all done it. Okay, you want to end murder and mayhem and stealing and theft? No. No, I wouldn't do that. I forgive you. You know, we've all picked up something at the store and walked out with it. You know, horrified later. How, what? You know, some of us went back to the store and confessed, and some of us said, no, nah, I'm just going to eat it. You know, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, but eventually that comes to bite your ass. Okay? Because you think it's okay to take from others and others will come and take from you. It's not okay. Okay? God provides all. It's all good. That's all forgiven and forgotten when you start to forgive. It gets ripped out. You were learning. It's okay. You're the child of God. Eventually, you become done with learning, and you start living it. Now you're living life. Yeah. Now you're one with the energy. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, with the flow. You know, so th this is what sin is. You don't think about those things. You don't imagine those things. You don't think other people would be that way. You forgive them. It, whatever words come to your mind that they're doing that's driving you crazy, you forgive them. You know, I forgive Alec Baldwin, you know, without distinction. I do. I forgive everyone on that set without distinction. They were playing a role to, sh to show him what he believed. So, you know, they're all blameless. And, and they're all free. Yeah, I forgive them without distinction. It's forgiven and forgotten. You know, but you you got to see the irony in all this. <laughs> and you can learn from other people's experiences when it's presented to you in such a manner. It's so obvious. It's not even funny, but it is. Yeah. You know? Like, you know, Jesse Smollett. That, I, I'm sure I tortured his name, bless his heart. I'm sorry if I did. Yeah, but that is just some hysterical irony going on there. You know, too bad they don't televise that one because that would be, let's get the popcorn and see what's going on. <laughs> you know? But uh, that's just the way it is, I guess. So I hope this helps. It's really understanding that, it, as you know, the clips show, you know, law is law. You can live by the law or you can die by the law. That's up to you. You can live or you can die like a man. Psalm 82. Don't die like a man. Live. So, I hope this helps. Blessings to you. And thank you. Thank you for being you. Those who will not live by the law <laughs> shall die by the law. Amen. 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 Sing it over. Amen. Amen. Jordan. Hey.